Yeah, well, it's it's a it's a good skill. You, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you this on the GNU plot. So, for instance, uh, so the function he uses there in that file is the uh, uh, circular paraboloid. So the function is this. In, in GNU plot, that's that's what you do. Use the s plot command. You show the box over which you want to picture your graph. Of three-dimensional function, so I mean, function of two variables. So my box will be negative two, two, and the function circular paraboloid is this function x square plus y square. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, why not? Uh, in GNU plot, if you want to, I mean, the, the graph normally a little bit skews the proportions because it's just the, I think the algorithm behind the plotting, it just tries to feed, use as much space as possible. If you want to keep the proportions, something, remember yesterday, two days ago when we did the ABC curve and I showed you the uh, the view from the top, the actual, there wasn't a circle, but it was more like an ellipse. It's just because the picture, uh, the software skewed the proportions a little bit. We can fix that by saying, Yeah, set set view equal, and then, oh, well, and then replot again. That's more or less keeps the proportions. If you want more detail, I mean more lines on the curve, you can say I want I saw samples say fifty. That will make more lines and more detailed plot. Uh, yeah, if you want to see uh, level a uh, level line uh, level curve, sorry. So it's a uh, sections of your graph by the horizontal planes. Uh, there are two ways to do well, that. Here you just say, well, you you just say the set contour. There are two possibilities here. You can say set contour. Or you can actually you can check check what the possibilities here. You can call the, for the help on the contour. There are three possibilities here: base, surface, and both. It means let's just try all of them. So if I say uh, if I set if I say set onto a base and replot, it pictures you the level curves at the base in the x y plane. Uh, it doesn't sh actually it does show the numbers here. You see different colors, and here's the value of the function f for different colors for the level curves. If you want more Curves. There's a set contour param, uh, which is say level. Say let's just say ten levels rather than five. So you replot. Here's your ten levels. Yeah. Now, well, plotting the function of two variables relatively simple. It is more fun when you plot something parametrically. We can plot the same, we can plot the same uh, circular paraboloid with the parametric setting. Look at this. Uh, I can set, I can say set parametric. It tells me that I can use. I mean, if I want to plot surfaces, I have to use u and d parameters. So let's just let's just make a convention that u is will be the radius r because normally when you do, uh, I, I, actually I want to use this, uh, the cylindrical coordinates. So u will be u will be r, and v will be the uh, the angle, the theta parameter. So the same parabola, look at this. If I want to picture this uh, parametrically, I can do like this. u range will be, say, 0, 2. v range will be negative pi, pi. Now, the function, circular parabola in cylindrical coordinates, it is this one, radius times cos v, radius times sine v, and u square. Look what happens. The same circular parabola, a different look. That's what we talk about when we, that, that this is the parametrized surface, different parameters, different looks. You can play with angles. Uh, by the way, I didn't show you what happens if you set the contour, I said contour base. You can say both. Let's just see what happens here. I don't know if you see it, it just also shows the contour lines on the 
on the on the on the surface uh, on the surface also. Uh, what else you can do with this? Well, you can do something like this. You can just play with the range here. For instance, you can say let's just go not negative pi pi, but let's just go zero pi on two. What will happen now? What will come up on the picture when I press enter? Huh? Quarter of this of this uh, hyperbolic parabola. Here it is. Well, actually, it's damaged the sizing a little bit. Let's just do it like that. We can we can fix. Let me just picture the original one. Here's the oh, what just happened? Here's the original one. If you can pay attention, the, we we have the range negative two, two, negative two and two. I'll fix this in the setting like this. I say negative two, two for the x range, and the same for the y range. <coughs> And now if I ask for my quarter again, 0, pi and, pi and 2, uh, the view angle will not change. Look at this. Yeah. Here it is. Here's my quarter with the same proportions and level lines at the same time. Look what I'm going to do now. If I take now my parameterization here and duplicate it here, but shifted by half by half of the revolution what will be the image now huh no <laughs> two halves two two quarters actually so we took my red one and you spin it 180 degrees around right now Last question. What happens if I just cut the radius to say like this, one and two? What will be the result of this one? Shorter. We cut off the bottom. Well, we can play with this in all sorts of ways. Uh, in the tutorial set of questions for the week one, there will be questions to visualize this, visualize that. You can do that either with a GNU plot or if you like Maple or MATLAB, you can do with that. Are we over yet? Are we? So you can just download this on Mac. You can, but we're not over yet, right? Are we over yet? I understand. Five o'clock lecture is a tough one. Are any questions? Well, if you don't have any questions, thank you very much for your patience. You're free to go. Um, so you can basically this Yes, you can. You can actually GNU plot is available for every platform. Every platform. Oh, I, I use Mac too, so.